It's nice to see everyone. Welcome. Well, let's just be on holiday together for a minute. I don't have anything to say or anything like that, so we'll just see. So let's just be open, fully open, which means just, you know, thoughts come and go and sensations come and go and sounds come and go, no problem. No need to do anything about any of that. Just be openly knowing, not anything in particular, just openly knowing. In this open knowing, we see there's actually no such thing as time. Time has to do with thought. But in truth, there's only this here and now. That's what it, what's actual, right? What, what is actual? What actually is? What actually is has nothing to do with time. So just be openly knowing now only. And what is actually now, what actually is, what actually exists, what actually is true, is very simple, isn't it? If we look into thought, and think we're going to find something true in there. We open up entire, an entire world, don't we, of illusion. And it's a very complicated world of illusion, actually. If we look into thought or rely on thought and believe we're going to find truth in there, we create an entire world of complication. And that complication has to do with the story of me, essentially. The past traumas and experiences and events, the vasanas, the samskaras, the shadows, the concepts,
an endless world of complication. And in that endless world of complication, we try to arrange things or understand things or fix or correct things to try to come to some semblance of peace. But it doesn't work. What most people who are seekers come to the most seekers come to the path of seeking to in some way or another alleviate suffering. And it's a perfectly valid reason to come to the path of seeking. Many people who uh, we all have you know, psychological traumas and PTSDs and issues, yeah, everybody, no one, no one's unscathed. But of course, there are different levels of that. But in one way or the other people, when we come to the path of seeking, we're trying to alleviate that and come to peace and freedom and happiness. That's what the spiritual path is really about. There's a lot of uh, esoteric terminologies like enlightenment and transcendence and uh, non-duality and all of these really fancy terminologies. But all of them really are just about coming to peace and happiness, the nat what I call the natural human condition. And in that way, in the spiritual path, we also go and create an entire world of complication as well. All the paths of Advaita and the paths of Vedanta and the paths of Buddhism and the paths of transcendence and the paths of worship, all of this mega complication. And then we feel overwhelmed. We're never going to get there. And we see that all of these complications are based on something called time, some illusion that there's something called time. Because all of the uh, stories of self are based on the past and all of the stories of becoming are based, based on the future. And all of it, I don't care if it's called spiritual or esoteric, it's all psychological. because it all has to do with the workings of the mind of wanting and fearing and desiring and avoiding and repressing and fixing and correcting all it just all in mind. So it's all psychological. And we have fancy terms that say spiritual, you know, Whether it's spiritual or psychological or philosophical or esoteric, it's all just mind. There's no mind, so let me just make it more simple. It's all just thought. All of it is just, you can put it in one group called thought.
and we've all heard that uh, world is a reflection of mind or world is created in mind where the world is nothing but mind well this is why this is what it means the world of me of past and future me and becoming and all of this is that world is nothing but thought so you could say it's just mind So I say all of these fancy words and terminologies are all just intending, although ignorantly, I, I humbly suggest, intending to, at least the intention is to come to what I call the natural human condition of freedom and peace. Health, real health. So for almost everyone and more, some people more than others that get on the, the spiritual path, there is the strong desire to heal from psychological suffering trauma, PTSD, or whatever, abuses, you know, many horrible things that can't be denied, you know, and I don't deny them. And what I've found is that people come that come to this work, or the, just to be more general, the work of freedom, the real work of freedom, the people that have come to the work of freedom or to this work and that are ready for this work are the people who have are fed up trying all of the other modalities and not having any success. And once you've tried all the other modalities, whatever it may be, it can be spiritual modalities, it can be uh, psychological modalities, it can be philosophical modal modalities, it can be drug taking modalities, it can be any. When you've tried those modalities, what you're really always seeking is happiness and peace, the natural human condition. But when we've tried those enough and found that they don't work, if we're lucky, we hear a message. The message is that you can be free. And that you can stop doing all of that stuff and you can start being free. So uh, my view, since I've been doing this work, is that the best form of psychological healing is the work of freedom. If someone is at the point where they're fed up enough with their psychological efforts that they're ready to say, okay, I'm ready to be nothing. I'm ready to see what's true. I'm ready to stop doing all of that mental gymnastics. If someone's ready to do that, then this work that I do or the work of freedom is the best means of psychological healing. And I've seen it many times.
And it's a very simple and scientific reason why it's the best means. It doesn't ma mean it's easy or that it happens quickly. What it means is that you recognize freedom in this work, like we do now on a holiday. We recognize that there's no past and there's no future. We recognize that all of the stories I've been telling myself are not true. We recognize that all of the spiritual wishes and desires are not true either. What we recognize is the first thing I said, that here there's only this. this what's true is what's actual is this. This is what's true. And anything other than this, which is true, anything other than this, which is what's true, anything other than this, nothing that's which is what's true, anything other than this is thought. That bears repeating anything other than what's true what is actual, anything other than what is actual, is thought. The so-called past history is only thought. The so-called future enlightenment is only thought. It's not true, is it? One has to get real, one has to get real, one has to start getting real, one has to start getting real if one wants to be free. But what is real? Nothing, you see. That's what's real, isn't it? What's real is this. What's not real is whatever so supposedly happened in the past. It's not real, look. What's not real is that you're gonna get more free in the future, that's not real. That's not true. What's real is nothing, and anything other than nothing is thought. Not true. So in my view, the best means of psychological healing is to be free. Why? Because freedom is already healed. When you recognize who you are, open knowing now, freedom, you recognize you are already healed. Mind may be a mess, but you are healed. We recognize together now, let's be on holiday and see. No past, no future. You are already healed. So then obviously the best way to heal is to remain free, to continuously be free, to continuously coming, come to know who you are, free, I'm healed, and to stay there. To be devoted to your freedom. And, you know, in some circles, it's considered heresy to, that, but, I'll, but two of my favorite amazing sages say it, but in some more new age or psychologically based spiritual circles, it's heresy to say what I'm about to say, ignore.
that's what some, I won't have to name any names, many of you probably already know, ignore. Another way to say that is to be who you are, to know who you are, to attend to who you are, to the exclusion of everything else. Those are two ways of saying what, what I'm saying. Otherwise, what's going to happen is we're going to be in our deathbed and we're going to look back and say, I spent my whole life in a fucking poor me story when I could have been living. There's nothing we can do about the traumas that we feel have happened. What can we do about that? Nothing. There's no resolution in there. The resolution is to be free of it. That's where the resolution is. It's the resolution is now. The resolution is in your essential being. The resolution is who you are. You are the resolution. So let's just be on holiday and see now uh, mental, emotional health, the natural human condition is already attained. Let's see. Don't take my word for it. Look. If you say no, but there are concepts, then you're not doing what I suggest. Then anything other than nothing is thought, concept. Oh, there's a concept, there's a shadow, there's a this, there's a that. Then you're just giving credence to the, to the thought again. So I'm saying in a very stark way, be nothing. That's freedom. I say to the person who's very mature, like everyone on this call, there are no vasanas. There are no shadows. What do you want? Do you want freedom? Or do you want to have another, another 15 lifetimes of shadows? What do you want? And when do you want it? Maybe 10 years? Five lifetimes? How about now? For someone who wants to be free, then there's, sorry, there's no more shadows. There's no more vasanas, there's no more samskaras. You have to get real, man. Freedom is only ever always now. It's only ever always now. It's only ever always now. You are not gonna get free, or you're not gonna get more free, you're gonna recognize that I am free. That's how it works. That's freedom. That's healing right there. That's healing. That will heal the psychological traumas of mind over time. That takes time for that kind of, for that level of healing, but it doesn't take time to recognize that you're free. So just know you're free and be devoted to that. 